Welcome to the channel for first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. Today we are going to go from the 79 or the RTX 4090 to the 7900 XTX. So here we are. It's currently on. I am going to pause the recording because what I have to do, this is kind of strange and I think not necessarily unique uh, to me, but I have to actually go through and take the DisplayPort cable and stick it straight into the motherboard so I get a signal. But what I'm going to do first is while that boots up, I am going to boot up my PC into safe mode. So the way you do that, and we're going to use DDU, which is Display Driver Uninstaller. You're going to have to part in the chair. The chair is really loud. But anyways, <clears throat> so what you can do is you go to restart your computer down here. And what you do is when you get your Windows menu up, you hold shift and then you can restart. So if you're holding shift and you hit restart, you'll get a different option so that you can actually boot up. Let's see if I can zoom out real quick. Maybe it will, yeah, this will be a lot better. Here we go. Okay, so I'm holding shift. I'm hit restart. <coughs> I'm going to switch that out now. And the reason I switched it out is on my 4090, I found that, uh, I don't know, I just, have, I just don't get a picture whenever I um, first boot up. So I have to switch over to the actual integrated graphics. You could disable it <coughs> if you wanted to, but I typically just leave it on. All right, so it's booting up here. There it is. And while it goes, I'm going to go ahead and start prepping this box here. You can see that it says, please wait, because it's going to bring me some of the Windows options that I have. All right, so we go down to troubleshoot, and then advanced, and then startup settings, and restart. This is where you'll be able to boot in a safe mode. Um, it's the easiest way I know how. I know there's some other ways to go through, but then you have to disable um, so you can boot back into normal Windows mode again. Once I have a pause, I'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and we're just going to hit the number four uh, for safe mode. <clears throat> I got both my boxes ready, too. So I got my uh, XTX box, and I got my 4090 box. So I can just go ahead and you know get everything taken care of, put it right back down there when I'm done. So let's go ahead and fix this up a little bit. This part's pretty easy. I've done it in another video before, so it's not rocket science. <clears throat> I have it in my downloads folder, so I'll just uh, search up my DDU. Last time I used it, where is that? Here. Be in there and launch the uninstaller <clears throat> and select what kind of device type. So it's AMD GPU. Actually, no, NVIDIA. I'm going from NVIDIA to AMD. So what you have the option to is if you already installed your new um gpu and now you just want to go ahead and either fresh install drivers or maybe you wanted to clean out your drivers and install new ones from scratch you would do clean and restart uh, but i'm going to go ahead and hit clean and shut down and it gives you some reference underneath too so it's like for installing new graphics card uh, may cause issues like black screen if you remove your graphics driver and you select like to not restart maybe you have to do multiple drivers like if you're taking off the Intel integrated and the AMD or other drivers, you know what I mean? So you just have some choices there. But anyways, and then clean and restart, again, is just if you already have a graphics card in, you just want to clean it out and install drivers for the card that's in your system, whether it's the same exact card or whether you already installed the new card first. <clears throat> this takes a little bit, um, but you'll also get to see why I like the, uh, the P3. I'm, I don't have like an elaborate setup. But this case makes it really easy for me to bring benchmarks to the channel because I got, you know, real quick access to the to the actual GPUs, right? I have real quick access to everything. Uh, I just take off the glass panel and I'm pretty much in business. So while it does that, I am going to get that started. So here you got these four little screws. If you can see right there, a screw, a screw. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll start taking these off. take off all four i'm going to set this down and hopefully you'll still be able to see so let us try to find a good spot 
And I don't even know if it will stay, but yeah. It's going. I have to be careful not to drop these because they will fall behind my desk and that sucks whenever that happens. Get the last one. You also want to make sure that you power down uh, from your power supply. So as you can see, the little ASUS light would have turned off. Okay. All right. So step one is done. Last panel off. So the first part is done. And you can see here that there it is let me just get this in here you can see that again we have quick access to the gpu if i needed to change ram or something like that it's really what i like about this case what i do when i'm not using because the the 4090 has four connectors when i'm not using the third connector what i do is i tuck it underneath the aio there's a little bit of space this can go as high as like a 420 millimeter but it leaves a little bit of a gap so i tuck in the fourth adapter there just so that when i switch cards that need uh, fourth adapter, which is really just the 4090s, um, I have access to them still. All right. So I seem to find a spot where I might, might be able to leave y'all for this whole thing. <coughs> I just got to get in here and unscrew the back pieces. Now, this 4090 is super, super heavy. So only one time I had to fall out of the slot. It was gangsta. So... That was uh that was a wild time. And take this out. There it is. And I had the um, 12 volt high power connector, but I had to switch back to the traditional um, six plus two pin connectors because the 12 volt high power connectors it only leaves two um, regular 8.2 or not 8.2. Six plus two slots, so I actually couldn't use uh, specific cards. So, like for instance, I couldn't use the the non Nvidia cards, right? The ones that don't use the six plus two or the what am I saying? The twelve volt. It's tough to do this shit not being able to see. Okay, I think I got it. And make sure the screw doesn't fall. The other thing too, like I said, is everything has real quick, easy access on this case. So I don't have to worry about it too much. My retention pin or whatever holds the GPUs in is broken, so I don't have to go to the back and press the button uh, to release it. But yeah, easy peasy, it's up. <clears throat> All right. So now. We are going to set this down, move some of this stuff, and I don't think it goes down anymore. Oh, yep, that's the, that's the lowest it'll go. So right here, we're going to go ahead and, yeah, put the graphics card away. So I can put one away and then come back out with another whenever possible. So this is why sometimes... After I'm done with a video, or like once I'm taking a card out, I don't, uh, I don't quickly just run tests. <clears throat> yeah. Technically what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, with the honey, he said, he goes, I would give it for 
like if it was my kid, like I would do it, I've already done it. <laughs> and honestly, I think it helped. Yeah. I swear to God, I only got a little bit into it, but I really think it cleared up some of that. Mm. And he goes, because we know that honey is actually better than any kind of like rubber cuts or anything that you can get. True. And I was like, I know. I know. And what I've been trying to tell him, Doc. He's like, if she starts to run a fever, you know, then she has to worry a little bit more. But I'm so sure. I know. I'm going to get your hot <laughs> need honey. So maybe these two need honey. Oh yeah. Let me put this in there. All right. Off we go. Back to the OG spot. All right, last little bit is to get these little power connectors in. Camera being in the way is really a pain. Here. It's two. You want to make sure whenever you get them in there that they're really all the way in, too. Even the little extra two pins. Because when you go to do things like overclocks, if, you know, the power's uneven or something like that, you could just get crashes. So it's important to make sure that they're all steady and stable. Voila. See how much give we got here. we are I always give a quick spin to the fan to make sure that we're not blocking it switch this back to where we got it from because remember for the 4090 <clears throat> i had to um take it out of the which call it i took it out so now it's good to go it's back in all right ram is good Shouldn't have any issues. And I already installed the AMD software. So not installed, but downloaded the adrenaline software. So the new update for 10.1. It's already downloaded. And I'll test out Assassin's Creed as well. Not uh not today. Today is just gonna pretty much be Call of Duty. And I'm gonna do DDU again when um when I test the 7800 XT. So each graphics card change, I do another one. At least at the very minimum, it's the same brand. You do a clean install, so you just restart it after. All right. In. All right, you do that. <laughs> all right, so we're back. We're going to go ahead and install the drivers, and we should be all set. So. Like I said before, I downloaded the drivers. So I just gotta wait. This is the uh, process lasso <clears throat> that I use. All right, let's take the driver head. Good. And downloads, there it is. I'm just gonna run it. I made sure that it was for the uh, 7900 XT as well, so. Now that I'll do it. Next thing uh, we'll do is uh, actually run the benchmark. 
<laughs> my wife was headed out, so I was giving her a, a thumbs up. All right. So, yeah, last thing we'll do is we'll run the benchmark. I won't do it here. Um, just check, take a look at the channel. It'll be the Modern Warfare 3 beta uh, with the 7900 XTX. That kind of goes with this video. All right. I will catch you all in a flip. Be easy.